What's up guys, Shawnee Dogs here, and if you are brand new to my best class setup series, how it works is I take each and every gun in the game, and for the most part, I give you two class setups for each gun, a silenced and an unsilenced version, because I know people have different play styles, some people like to go for nukes, and different things like that. So let's get straight into it. The UMP-45 is another overlooked gun in Infinite Warfare. While it is more widely used than the HVR from my last video, it still should be used a lot more. When I was playing with this thing, it was amazing. I dropped an insane gameplay. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but it will be up within the next two days. And my KD was higher than when I got the world's most kills, 84, in Core TDM. So a sick gameplay will be up soon. Again, don't want to spoil anything, that's all I'm going to say for right now, but this gun melts. What I use on here, I don't use extended max because I feel like the gun has a lot of power and it already comes with 32 bullets, which is more than your usual submachine gun. Instead, I opt for just three attachments, quick draw and grip being the most important. Obviously, I use that on all my submachine gun classes because grip allows you to get that much needed range that submachine guns lack because it lessens the recoil of the gun. And quick draw, obviously that's important for any weapon that you're using, because if you could draw your gun up faster than your opponent, chances are you're going to win the gunfight. Now the third attachment that I am using, some people might disagree because the UMP already has range. I use long barrel, or rifle barrel as they call it in this game. The main reason is because this allows you to basically cross map people with your submachine gun without rifle barrel, it's pretty much impossible or it is a lot harder because it takes more bullets to kill and this extends the range. Moving on to the perk setup, it is the same setup that I use for pretty much all of my assault rifles actually on this class. I use Ghost and Overclock double up on perk 1. Ghost, second most important perk in the game, I've said this in a lot of my other class setup videos because it allows you to stay off the minimap, you cannot be detected by radar, UAVs are the most widely used score streaks in the game, so you definitely want to stay off radar, this is an important perk to have. Now Overclock, that is definitely an accessory perk, that's going to cost you 2 points because it is a second perk 1, you could definitely trade that out for something else that you find more useful like scavenger or any sort of equipment. I just use it because I usually go on long kill streaks, and this allows me to extend my life. If I have my rewind more often with that overclock, I can live longer. Now for perk 2, again, this is another accessory perk that is beneficial to my playstyle. Might not be as good for you. I use hardline. The reason is because I go on streaks. I like to get my streaks very quickly, and this helps out with that. Now the last perk, perk 3, is the most important. I will say it in probably over a hundred of the videos on my channel, Dead Silence. If you're not using Dead Silence, you are falling behind. This allows you to take flank lanes very easily, you won't be pre-aimed wherever you go, and it also allows you to hear enemy footsteps a lot better because they won't be drowned out by the sound of your own. Now if you plan on using this weapon with a silencer, this is one of those guns where putting on the silencer, I feel, makes the gun even better than it already is. It turns a good gun into a great gun. It basically mitigates all recoil. This thing is a laser. I was cross mapping people on terminal going absolutely off in this game. And the only difference from my regular class setup to this silenced one is that I substituted my overclock for the silencer because the overclock was costing me two points since that was my second perk one. This thing absolutely shredded. I think it was even better than the unsilenced version. You can go ahead and try see for yourself. This class setup video is going to be a little bit shorter than usual because there are no variants for this weapon, although there will be in the future, in a future update, they said that the classic weapons, along with being able to get nukes with them, they will also have variants or at least weapon perks to make the weapons a little bit better, a little bit more competitive to compete with the regular weapons in the game. When I was using this gun, it brought me back to the MW2 days immediately. This thing is just as good. I was one of those assholes that even use this when you're playing search and destroy on wasteland. I would be running around with marathon and lightweight with my UMP, embodying anyone in my way. The gun pretty much has not changed in this game. It is still just as good. You can cross map people even with a submachine gun. Doesn't make sense, but I'll take it. If you haven't tried this gun already, definitely worth the prestige token to unlock. It is an absolute 
beast. So go ahead, try for yourself. And that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy or found it helpful, be sure to drop a like, comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you are new for some more great videos. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.